you know, Germany has, with its history, with its responsibility towards these wars, has something to add to that conversation. We cannot tell a hero's journey. We cannot have a mission that you have to do, and then in the end you're successful. A German soldier cannot come successful out of a movie. <laughs> The balance, especially when you're writing, of knowing or hoping that you're going to get um, incredible actors to be in each of these parts, there is a part of your brain that is thinking, I want to justify each one of these people. Because tonight, in this very room, a murder will be committed. My murder. The important thing about this film is that although it, it, is, a, it is about somebody who gets a, a, you know, a very gloomy um, diagnosis, it's actually a film about, not, not about dying, it is about living. The results have come back. And I'm afraid this time, they're pretty conclusive. It's never easy, this. Quite. During the writing of the film, also during the shooting and in the editing of the film, we were, we found ourselves time and again leaning towards recreating moments of the film. And we found time and again that the more we let go of the original movie, and went in our own direction, uh, the film became much more true. The end is inevitable, Maverick. Your kind is headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. When I see the film, I'm able to kind of see all of our all of these little tendrils of different people's thoughts and dreams in the film and so you're sort of able to be proud of it in a different way than if it was just your voice and that's been thrilling. We know that we are bruised and infected and pregnant and terrified and insane and some of us are dead. More than anything, I just wanted to be part of a really good story.